if you're buying any cards from TG Player, please use the link in the description to help support my content. This video is sponsored by Photon Store, TCG Player, Pokemon Card.io, and Card Market. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tailmon. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're playing with Leaf and VMAX once again, one of my favorite decks from the Sword and Shield era because of the huge consistency that this deck offers between four Leaf and Vs, four Quick Bolts and four Capture Energies. You have maximum um, ways to get your Leaf and V out on turn one. And our greening cells ability allows us to search our deck and attach a grass energy to Leaf and V. So both of those things combined, I think, are really, really awesome and really useful in terms of um, helping the deck set up, helping the deck get a guaranteed um, turn to attack with Lithium VMAX, which is the main attacker, the only attacker really, of the deck. The runner at 10 HP has the Grassman attack doing 60 damage for each colorless in your opponent's active Pokemon to retreat cost. Fairly good attack, especially when combined with Galarmine to increase your opponent's this, um, retreat cost by two. And we also have the max leaf attack for three energy total to grass and colorless, doing 170, which is enough to totally kill any VMAX and healing 30 damage in the process. Now we are playing a copy of Six Sigun, no more Crobat V, and we have the 4 4 2 1 line of Leaf. And I would love to have a 4 4 2 2, but um, in terms of space, I definitely understand why there's only one sword and shield in Talion. Now, outstanding cards here are definitely the right hand, which does help us recover in case we whiff an energy attachment at some point, which can happen with this deck, and also the Pokemon Center Lady, which combined with the Max Leaf Attack healing and the Pokemon Center Lady, we could potentially turn a 2 hit KO into a 3 hit KO, and that's going to be um, very useful in beating the um, any sort of mirror match or any VMAX matchup that we might go up against. We also have Palpat to reutilize that or boss disorders or anything else we might need like the research and the money. And then we have our level balls, our instances and our tool jammers to get rid of those pesky air balloons as well. So let's jump into a ladder and see what we can do with Lithian VMAX. All right. We're currently searching for our opponent. And so it is November as you're watching this video. If you're watching it, the date got published. I believe it is Monday, November 1st. Um, mm -hmm. That means we are getting closer and closer to PTCG Live in theory, right? Um, we did get confirmation over the weekend that um, PTCGO will have PTCG, um, I mean, will have Fusion Strike. So. I don't know, maybe Fusion Strike will lead to PTCGO having um, the cards, but also the beta for life will start. Um, there, like there's actual pictures confirming that the code cards on uh, in Fusion Strike booster packs have all the branding for PTCG Live, no more PTCGO. So I honestly don't know um, what's going on there, if it, there's been a delay or not, but hopefully not, right? But we'll see, yeah, we shall see, all right. We did Mulligan, we do start with Leafian. There's Urshifu with a fighting energy, all right. So we're definitely not threatened, right? We are certainly not threatened at all here. Um, I feel like the Palpat's the discardable card here. I'm not gonna bench a Sobble. I also priced two of them. But I'm not going to bench a Sobble purely because um, it could get sniped next turn or rather that's why it didn't search for his um, a Sobble and now I am left Sobble less <laughs> I'll go ahead and green cells with the bench dude uh, we're not guaranteed any sort of attack we do have three Levian VMAXs and four um, instances but that's it If my opponent decides to target down the other Leafian V, I might actually just bench the other Leafian V. I'm not sure. We'll see. Could just end up hitting for 150 on the active. That's also an option. Um, that would be pretty fantastic, in fact. 
Um, okay, so we do get more need out of this hand. Will this be the highlight? Will this make it to the highlight of October videos? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we got an energy and we got a leafy on VMAX, so at least it's something. My opponent doesn't have the evolution, then they're gonna be in trouble. They're still level however. If they do evolve though, they have to go for 120 on the active, 150 on the bench, dude, and discard all the energies. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little rough here for them. Um, I would actually prefer that to happen because then my active would be fairly safe and I could safely bench the Sobble as well. If it just hit me for 150, uh, of course the Marnie killed my hand. Okay, seems like we're just gonna get hit for 150 right here. But then that means I get a KO. So I guess they should have searched for the stadium? Maybe they drew it, I don't know. All right, so we actually just get a knockout. So we can safely bench this level. And that's a fantastic card to top deck. We'll go ahead and do this, establish the other Sobble, the only one we have, in fact. And we will take a knockout on the search. Well, I'm glad I was doubting playing this card um, before I martyred. Um, but I decided to play it um, because this sort of deck usually is only playing one or two stadiums. And it's not like they super, super need it. Uh, but yeah, now we're in a really fantastic spot. No Urshifu benched, only support Pokemon. We have a Drizzle. Um, if we get Marnie, we get Marnie. But at least we get to... We had to push further with our um, potential attacks. All right. All right. Seems like we're in a fairly decent spot, I would say. Um, if I really wanted to, I could even use Max Leaf to start healing the damage. Put myself out of range of an Urshifu Scale Thrust. Um, that's annoying. Not the end of the world. Certainly not the end of the world. All right, we do see Crobat. So. Honestly, this might just prompt me to just search for the Leafian instead of a draw supporter. Immediate incense into quick shooting, yep. Um, so I am threatened to get KO'd here, but a clean Leafian VMAX in the active would just be fantastic. Especially with two grass. And getting to prices here would be fairly, fairly good. There's another Sobble. Getting benched and... All right, double Trizzle. That is very nice. All right, let's grab the grass. Let's go ahead and attach it. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and bench the Sobble now. Go ahead and play the Trizzle for an incense for the VMAX. And then we'll do... Oh, actually, I can just knock out the Urshifu. <laughs> That's actually the best thing. So I got the absolute best top deck that I could have hoped for. So we're gonna evolve and then my opponent will see the boss and they'll be like, well, that's probably my cue to lead the match. Because once again, like they will not be attacking next turn. So I do only need a level ball or incense or until then. Um, the scoop of net also works. To, well, there's both of them to just search for boss and knock out the Crobat. So we're in a pretty good spot. And if my stadium gets countered, I could use Scoop of Net to search to get back the Drizzle, to search for Evolution Incense, to search for Shady Dealings in Talion, to search for a stadium and the game winning boss. Um, actually, this guy, oh no, that guy's not weak to grass. For, for a second, I thought Crobat was weak to grass. But it, in fact, is not. Um, we see a boss. So yeah, this is over. This is absolutely over.
Reverend really not giving up though. Even though they did not bench an Urshifu. Um, okay, so we'll pick you up. Oh, did I? Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> I actually messed that up. I needed to pick up the Drizzle to evolve into the active, get the. Whoops, that's my bad. It's okay. It's okay. That was poorly executed on my part. It worked in my head, I just clicked the wrong cards. <laughs> clicked the cards in the wrong order, for sure. I need to scoop up the Drizzle, evolve the active, search for incense. Or no, search for boss, and then just scoop up again, and that was the game. But it was a game anyways. It was actually game, no matter what, basically. Well, not no matter what, but it was very likely that it was going to be over at that point. Alright, so on to the next match. We only played one supporter, and we were able to find what we needed when we needed it. Very thankful about that. Some good top decks as well that worked in our favor. And now we get to go first against a water deck. And look, like I did not get energy, which is usually really bad for a VMAX deck, but thankfully my ability more than makes up for that. And that is why I love Lithian. However, I'm up against Kalish. <laughs> Come on, man, really? I get paired against Glacian. Um, okay, I caught the energy. Dude, why Glacian out of all things? <laughs> Seriously. Um, why Glacian out of all the things that I could have gone up against? Why collision? Um, Alright, so quick shooting in Tillian will be extremely, extremely important to the point where I want to establish both solvables because I want to get close to the Intillion as soon as I can. Because I could have saved that um, level ball as well. Leaf Blade, I mean, Leaf Blade does respectable ish damage. I mean, no Glacian. And researched away three researches. So I'd expect this Marnie to do some decent damage. Now I can hunt down the Glacians with the Drizzles. So I'm gonna evolve one, but I'm not gonna evolve both. So I can search for a boss. Well, I guess, you know what? Maybe I just grab the boss here. Mm. I don't know. I'll grab this, I guess. Give me reusability. Ah, uh, sure. I'll grab this Koopa Mint. And then I'll just take the knockout. Okay, now I can hunt down Klaishan, so my opponent needs to put down two at once. And then whoever gets the attachment, that's who I'll go after. So there's a quick wall. For Croat, that's fantastic because that's another target that I can do without. And using up a scoop of net, fantastic. So, right now, there's one, two, three, four prizes. So, whenever a collision gets benched, I go after it, and then I have enough prizes, I guess. 
not even attaching energy, which is great. And I do have Pulpat to recycle Fossil Sorter, so that's actually very, very good. Alright, so this turn, no questions asked, just go after the Glacian. And yeah, my opponent's poor draws and poor setups remind me of my own, which is unfortunate for him. Don't really need that guy. Now I wish I had this. <laughs> um, I think I just knock out, right? I have Scoop of Net and Evolution Incense for a potential drizzle if I want to. Get that going. So I get two prizes right now. I was going to get another two prizes at some point, or a prize, either either a prize or two prizes, and then I could just boss KO the Crobat. So I was in a fairly good spot. Fairly, fairly good spot. I guess Glacian, one Spanish could have evolved. I forgot about the first attack. So that would have been a big deterrent um, to what I was trying to do. Okay, so we're going second. We have a very good hand overall, I would say. Um, okay, we're up against single strike, which is pretty scary, not gonna lie. Having the energy spread out is pretty huge right here. So we're likely gonna lose the Leafian. We're definitely gonna lose the Leafian, but that's okay. I can just spread um, the energies, and that's like, that's the absolute fantastic part about um, having greening cells that it's just it's such an amazing ability if I if you could like think more with this deck like if it wasn't that straightforward as like just attach attack attach attack attach attack I would like this a lot more if there was like more thought needed to be done with it um, Feel like it's a pretty cool deck, but uh, there's not much substance behind it, if you will. All right. Hopefully, we don't get Marnie out of our beautiful hand. My opponent did see that I didn't do anything. All right. Air balloon. All right. The Lithian will be gone. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen my cards yet. I have so many good cards that I can find off of that Marnie. Fine. I'll take that. I will take that. Okay. So I need the VMAX and the Stadium. Technically, the right card to search for with Drizzle is the Stadium, because there's less copies of that than there are instances and um, Leafy and VMAX's total. So that's what I'm gonna have to um, do. There's also a chance that my opponent whips energy here, which would be very sad. But alas, that is not the case. All right, another single strike Urshifu, another Hound Hour. Uh, pretty scary looking board for my opponent. All right, so I it might be better, well, rather, it is better to search for the stadium because it's the more difficult card to find. Uh, or my top deck can just give me what I need. Fine. Very nice. Thank you, Warney, for not wrecking me completely. All right, so I'll do this. Then I'll do this for the VMAX because I have Drizzle in my hand. And then I'll search for the stadium. I burn down two stadiums as well, which is very good news. Because that messes up with the air balloon. Uh, that my opponent has. And I even get the tool jammer, which is fantastic. And we're in a fairly, fairly good spot right here. So the only thing that could go wrong is that if I don't find another grass to be able to attach to the Leafian, to the follow-up Leafian VMAX, because right now I took two prizes, right? This guy comes up, attacks me, 
Then I take another two prizes. And then uh, this Lithian VMAX would need the grass, which is the missing card that I have right now. Or the, it's a, the key missing part, the key missing component. The key missing component at the moment. Or my opponent can just evolve and get me the free one shot. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Like, this guy has a 3 retreat cost, so I do 300 damage to it. I'm 1 energy short, but if he wants to power up, he needs to use Houndoom to put the damage, and that's fine. Or I have access to quick shooting or even 6 Sigmund, so... Yeah, the game's still absolutely over now. So that guy gets knocked out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to discard the Marnie, grab this. Then I'm going to put back the Marnie on the research. And I'll Marnie away my hand. And take away the big hand from my opponent. And I get Drizzle for whatever I might need. Energy in case I need to. I have the quick shooting damage, which is fantastic. And I could have also just attacked. And they probably don't play the scroll, but this is fine. I don't think they realized that that guy had a three retreat cost. I don't think they realized that. All right. Yeah, that has to be game over, right? Like, what are your expectations? Well, okay, never mind. Maybe it isn't game over. Do they have another Urshifu? Oh, they did have the scroll. Wow. <laughs> Do they have another Urshifu VMAX? Oh, but the scroll didn't matter, in fact. Um, if they have another Urshifu VMAX and they find their other Houndoom and they attach all four energies, they actually do KO me. However, I have the Raihan. To recover, I can just search for Raihan and that gets me guarantees the water. So any level ball, any incense or any drizzle wins me the game. So there's, yeah, there's potential if they play the other Urshifu VMAX. There's that. The last energy is in the discard pile, so that's a problem. Oh, they do play it. So did they get the urn? Wow, okay. That's fair. I mean, we still win, but that I was... I did not expect a second copy of the Urshifu VMAX. Which begs the question, why evolve last turn, right? Does beg the question, why did they evolve last turn? But, okay, and we're just trying to do the damage and immediately concede. I mean, I guess you would stay in the game to see if they whiffed or not, right? I did have a huge hand, um, so the likelihood of me whiffing was low, but I don't know. I like Lithian, it just it does what it needs to do very consistently. And I've been saying this since um, I first played the deck when Evolving Skies came out, and I insist on this. Um, if you want a straightforward, very powerful deck that does what it needs to do as often as possible, Lithian is a deck for you. Thanks so much for tuning in, don't forget to leave a like, really helps out the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye! -bye.